You ready? Hi guys, it's Elena. No. And we're enchanted for you to be here on our channel. <laughs> it's my channel. You're a guest. It's my channel. Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. I have another wonderful special guest. This is my husband. This is this is my wonderful man of, of a husband. His name is Ro. <laughs> and if you've seen a couple videos back, he was a guest on one of my other videos. So I figured when it's... Unwillingly. Willingly, don't lie. I figured when it's an unboxing type of video and it requires tasting things, then it's a little bit more interesting when there are two people, two different opinions, um, even though we kind of like the same type of food, but still. So as I've mentioned, kind of, sort of, it's an unboxing video. In today's unboxing, we're doing the Universal Yums. Dun da da da! Oh, you mean this? Yes, this. You do not get to get the whole box. We're, we're sharing this box. So this subscription is called Universal Yums. I believe it's around $22 a month, at least that's what I'm paying for my box. And this box is filled with snacks around the world. So each month they pick a specific country, whether it be Egypt, Ukraine, or uh, Russia, or like any other of those countries, and they... Where's this one from? I don't know yet. We're gonna find that, that out once we open the box. And they curate like the most common snacks or like interesting snacks or the most popular snacks in that area and they put it all together in this wonderful box and I get to try stuff. You mean we? Right, right. We get to try stuff. Maybe. So, <laughs> while we fight over this box, the sticker that it gives us a hint of, it is from the island, from, um, oh, hold on, the Land of Smiles. That's kind of like the only hint on the outside of the box, and then it has more information once we open the box. So, let's see what kind of fun goodies we have inside. Would you like to do the honors? Don't break the box. I like the box. Me and my hoarding of boxes, I would probably keep this box. Now you're the one struggling. So it's not the not to break Ooh. it. Ooh! So this box says, Welcome to Thailand. And this is what it looks like when you first open it up. It has this little pamphlet on the inside and it has information on this box. And uh, I think it talks about like the main areas and where some of these flavors are coming from. And then on the back here, it has taster's name, rating, vote on an upcoming box, and all that fun stuff there. So I've, I've this is my first subscription box with them. And I'm kind of really curious as to what kind of fun goodies they have inside. So, it says, Welcome to Universal Yums. We're so glad you're holding one of our boxes in your hands. Or maybe it's on a table. Yes. Or the couch. We guess it doesn't really matter. Before you get started on your run. Uh, before you get started on your yums, read the back for a few pointers. Um, one, this month you're visiting an incredible country, next month you'll visit a completely different but equally incredible country. It's going to be so fun, you'll see. Two, did you notice the map in your box? Did you flip it over? We recommend you do. Actually, we should say you must because we have a fun game on the back where you tell us your opinion on the snacks in this month's box. We like strong opinions and we want to hear yours. That's why we have the strong opinions that you must play our game. Okay. Three, now time for some real serious stuff. Allergies. The products inside your box may be processed in a facility that also processes allergens such as milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, soybeans, sesame seeds, mustard, sulfur dioxide, and sulfites. If you have food allergies, we, you, uh, we recommend you do not consume any products inside this box. 
So if you do have any food allergies, please be very mindful and very careful if you're trying anything or if you're going to try anything or if you're going to even think about getting a food-based subscription box. Uh, let's see, four, we want your first box with us to be the best thing you've ever gotten in the mail. If it's not, maybe you are getting a lot of truly incredible stuff in the mail, or maybe we can do better. If it's the later, please let us know. Feel free to email us at support at universalyums.com. Five, we say we a lot. There's about 40 of us in the Universal Yums team, and we all want you to have a great time. We had a great time with these yums when we first tried them. In fact, you'll see some of us on the pages. Six, after you finish your box, you'll probably find yourself hungry for some new, new favorite yums. That's why we have a yum shop. Ooh, ooh, they have a snack shop. <gasps> That's pretty cool. <laughs> there you'll find all your favorite yums from this box, plus many more unusually delicious products from all over the world. It's unlike another shop in the internet. Cool, right? Okay, so these are the goodies inside. Trivia questions and answers. Oh, that's like a little trivia game. We have some kind of, I assume, spicy chips. We have a salt and sour chip. Ooh, you're gonna like these. His favorite chips are the salt and vinegar chips. Yeah, I know, he's kind of weird. So anything sour and sal salty is gonna be right up his alley. This was not in English. Uh, no. But it looks like pepper and garlic and honey, maybe? Some kind of little treat, little snack. This is the My Napa Sticky Rice with coconut cream and mango. Ooh, that's cool. I'm gonna put that aside there. This is the Glendy Coconut Chips. Oh, I know I will like these. What this else we got? Just weird. We'll read it. It's a fried shrimp stick. What? Fried shrimp with sa salad cream flavor? This will be interesting. Huh. What else we got? What sort of candy? The yum bag? Full of fun and yums. Huh. I guess this is maybe a mystery, like little candy thing. I don't know. It doesn't really have a name for it. This was not in English. It says it's made from real coconut milk, but it has bananas on it. Honey, what does that say? <laughs> this is Thai coconut roll with natural banana. And then we have wafer filled with honey toasted cream. I'm not trying to be mysterious here in your room. Yet. This is interesting. So a lot of these are mainly in, uh, I don't know how to properly say it, in Thailandish? Thailandian? In the language of Thailand. Thailand? I don't know. And some kind of lime gummy candies, I assume. Alright, my love, you get to pick which one we're starting with. Go with this one. That one? Good choice. We have water here just in case we need it. And let's see how things go. Oh, that smells so spicy. I'm excited. Exactly. We didn't have dinner, so this is our dinner. <laughs> yeah, try one. You first. It's like overly spicy. It also has like a very nice smoky flavor. Oh, I wouldn't say it's paprika, it's some other kind of smoky flavor. These are really good. I don't know, but it's nowhere near the devil. No, 
It's like, it has, like, it, it's named the devil something, but it's nowhere near as spicy as, like, devil chips would be. Kind of sweet, actually. It's really good. That's a really good chip. I'm going to start off with this one. And this is the chalky wafer filled with honey and cream. Smells really sweet. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste overly sweet. It's really good. <laughs> what do you think? I like this one. It smells sweeter than it tastes. Mm -hmm. to try that one. It's a shrimp stick. Kind of the sushi. It smells like chips would smell. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation at all whatsoever. It's actually really pretty good. It's like a puff pastry with like a seaweed wrap, like a puff, ugh, what are those? You know, like cheese puffs, but it's not cheesy, it's like seafood flavor. Those are corn ones. Those are corn ones? Oh, yeah, kind of. I like this one, this one's really good. So good. Fried shrimp stick. Fried shrimp stick's pretty darn good. Thank you. Guys. Mm. Cat and dog don't get along. If I have stuff in my teeth during this whole tasting thing, I apologize. Have a good giggle, but we're trying food. <laughs> so far is it delicious? Weird. Definitely. I really delicious. like that one. Let's go with the mango sticky rice stuff. I say we get this one out of the way. It doesn't look like it will be tasty towards the end. Okay. Whatever it's in the young bag. Kind of a mystery bag. So let's see what's inside of this mystery bag. Little candies. Ooh. We have banana chews. Oh. I assume pineapple. And no idea. Uh, you give me this one. Well, I'm trying this one too. We're gonna start off with the oh corn flavored candy. Now I'm scared. Ah! I caught it. This one's gonna take a while to get through. <laughs> like oh my a God. starburst. 
It's like a thick starburst, but it tastes like canned corn. Yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> like the sweet canned corn. This will pull your fillings right out. <laughs> what do you have to say about it? It's okay if you want something to chew. Mm. I'm one of those people that would literally take a can of corn, put some salt over it, maybe some paprika, and eat it as a snack. So this isn't too bad. <laughs> but as a candy, it's very weird. Right? Not something I'd go for. No. We're gonna hold off on the other ones because it's something that takes a while to get through. <laughs> Still going. Can we, can we try this one next? Let me try this one. I'm curious about it. I don't think I'm gonna like this one. Because I've tried similar things at a restaurant and I wasn't a big fan. If you guys have ever had like a udon noodle instant soup type of thing where it has um, not dried out udon noodles, but oh gosh, they're like in a Ziploc bag pretty much. And it's an instant like udon noodle soup type of thing. This is what it smells like, right? Like those noodles. Maybe it's the preservatives? Oh my gosh, one of these things is 170 calories. Ooh, good thing we didn't have dinner. No. <laughs> no. Tastes like I'm eating those noodles, but sweeter. Issy, come here. Would you like this? Cup up? Good girl. She approves. You know what that reminds me of? Mm. Rice with milk. A little bit, yeah. But worse. <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> it's not like a really good texture, I guess. It's okay if you're hungry. I suppose. Go ahead, pick next. Let's put this one. I know he's gonna like that one. That's the lemon salt chips something. With the size of the bag, I think there's two chips in it. Probably. It wasn't cooperating. <laughs> so you just destroyed it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't sweet. smell as lemony as I expected it to. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's got a sweet tone to it. There's nothing sour about it. At all. It's like a sweet Lay's chip. Yeah, it's like they use sugar instead of salt for lays. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, it's pretty good, but it, they, nothing lemony. Hmm. Pretty weird. Whatever this banana thing is. Next. Ooh, it smells really banana y. Is that even a word? Is banana y a word? like this. Wow, that's sweet. It smells really sweet. Maybe it's not. This is what it looks like on the inside. They're like little rolls for you, my dear. One of them is I made a mess. <laughs> Broken. There's nothing in it. There is nothing in it. It's hollow. Bad 
back. Are you back for more? <laughs> this is pretty good. It reminds me of like toasted coconut flakes, but banana flavored. It's pretty good. <laughs> Glad we agree. That looks sweet, but pretty good. It is not as sweet as it smells. Alright, which one's next, my dear? My thoughts exactly. Looks like the expectations have been met. It's not bad, but it's not good either. I don't like it. This is if Sprite and Fruit Roll Ups had a baby. Right? I can see that. That's what it reminds me of. Alright, this one would be next. The bag is so, like... I gotta do the corner. You gotta do the corner? Sure. No, I don't. There's, like, nothing in there! <laughs> like, maybe 12 things. Look, the whole entire bag... I'm gonna... That's it. banana and honey flavored things in this box. Is this one banana? It says banana chew, but it's not colored like a yellow banana. <laughs> They're very ripe. They could be very ripe. It's more like taffy. Mm-hmm. Overly ripe banana. <laughs> and it's very chewy. Not a really big fan. Mm -mm. Have a lot. Oh, it'll pull your fillings right out, so be careful. And I think this one is pineapple. Hey, it's solid. Is it solid? Oh, this isn't a chew. This is a little candy thingy. Struggle is real. Oh, goodness, it comes out. It's in the shape of a heart. Aww. Cute. Mmm. I like this one. I like this one. <laughs> you like this one a lot? Mm-hmm. I do. It's gonna take a while to get through, so just give us a moment. AC, would you like more rice? It isn't too bad. You want it? Oh, 
Oh, it has something in the center of it. I'm not gonna eat that. We'll just get a look. Mm -hmm. You just shove it up your nose, why don't you? Would you like to try this again? It says to microwave for 15 seconds for better taste. Would you like to try this again? I want to microwave it. Oh yeah, you're not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't really think that it's going to be much better than what it already is. It's just going to be the same exact flavor, but warmer. <laughs> Thailand. A. Crab. B. Five five five. C. Lip. D. Zoo. And the answer to that is five five five. In Thailand, is short for ha ha ha. That's pretty cool. Very just a butt dial. <laughs> yeah. Just chew through it. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? I don't think I'm gonna like this one. I think I'm gonna like that one. Probably. Yeah, it's just toasted coconut little flaky thingies. This is better for more. Mm -hmm. They're really good. They have a little bit of sea salt and caramel, so they're not like overpoweringly sweet, and they're crunchy, and they're delicious. I think you like this one too. Surprisingly, yes. I see, like, he shoves the whole <laughs> thing in his face. So these are all the wonderful goodies. Which one do you think is your favorite? I like the shrimp stick. Easy, come here. I like the shrimp stick. So spicy chips and shrimp stick are definitely the best. Shrimp stick, weirdest, but it's really, really good. So here is the box full of tons of delicious goodies, which was so much fun to open. Um, <laughs> it sucks that we kind of opened all of them, but I don't think they're going to survive very long anyways. Nope. So here's all the goodies. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, you know, subscribe, the whole shebang. What do you want to tell them? Come back again. Come back again. So there's that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.